Good morning, welcome to the video. So as you might know by the thumbnail and title, today Tiana is getting her tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy surgery, which she's been needing for a while. So we wanted to document the experience and her recovery for other people who go through this or for people who are just curious about Tiana's experience. So we've been having a little bit of trouble this morning because she can't EAT and she usually does right when she gets up. So we're letting her watch a movie on the iPad to distract her. Yeah, iPad to the rescue, don't, don't judge us. <laughs> And we're about to head to the doctor, um, and we'll take you along. Tiana, where are you going today? Doctor. Um, what are they gonna do? Surgery on your throat? Yeah, make you better. Uh, yeah, it might hurt a little, but then you're gonna get better, okay? Uh, and then are you gonna? Hey, after surgery, are you gonna eat a lot of ice cream? Oh yeah. All right, let's go, baby. Oh, you want to push the button? We're going to two. Push, push hard. Good job. Okay, let's see what you're playing with. Now I'll show you to your room. You can watch part two. Yay. Yay. Okay, so it's your little pillow. Yeah. I'm going to tickle your forehead. Boy. Well, that, you're separating. Yay. Get out. Here's your room. Thank you. You are welcome. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're good. And she doesn't get her eyes started until she's asleep. Okay. Check this out. <gasps> wow. Look in it. This is for you. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Yeah. Open it up. Look at all, what's all in there. Oh, come on. Oh, lots and lots of stuff. Oh, wow. wow. <gasps> Look at it. Oh, no, no. Too, but we know. Uh, <laughs> here, baby. Give me your finger. Let's try mommy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's a light on my finger. Let me get this right here. <gasps> that's so cool. Look, mommy has got a little light. Oh, that's so cool. Mommy, you're totally chilled out. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> try daddy. <laughs> no, mom, you can put it on her finger. Okay, oh, you try. Oh, that's cool. All right, now hold still, see if you can beat mommy. Tiana's all checked in, they checked her vital signs, did our HMP, asked us a bunch of questions, and now we're just kind of waiting for our turn to go to pre-op. How are you feeling? I'm a little nervous for her. She's doing really good, she's playing, they gave her a gift bag, so she's actually having a ton of fun this morning. There was just a kid out there just screaming his head off, and they're like, oh, sometimes they just come out like that. Yeah. What do you mean? She might. <laughs> We'll see. I'm probably more nervous than she is, to be honest. Oh, she's going to do great. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> it is okay. cherry flavored and brandy. Close your mouth on it. Really fast. Close your mouth. Really fast. Swallow it. <laughs> yucky. Is it yucky? <laughs> <laughs> you, want yeah. some you want some Gatorade? Here you go. You're being so brave today. You're doing so good. For not eating, she is doing really good. Don't like it. Oh, real quick, that was a Versed, which uh, I think Rihanna's explained to me, just kind of puts her out of it. Almost like a volume, volume, saying that correctly. Uh, I probably shouldn't be the one talking on this, but that's what that was. Are you ready? They're both going down the hall together. Oh, so comfy. Oh, you have almost triplets. Oh, you have almost triplets. Oh, okay. Your clothes, if you, as long as it's nothing valuable, you can oh. leave in that room and we'll sort it for you. Just come back over. I just, I already. I can't even hear. Thank you, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Talk to the doctor. Name is the audiologist. Okay. I can hear her name. Girl. Oh, those hundred questions again. Yeah. I'll get ready to take you in here. All right, so I can't go past here. Right. Okay. Hey. I love you, okay? Love you, baby. Okay, so that caught me a little off guard, but I understand. But we were walking her back to the OR. We were all walking together. Then they stopped us and said only one parent can come in. Uh, obviously, Rihanna is the most educated on this and uh, can probably help better back there than I could. So Rihanna went with her, but I guess I just wasn't ready to say goodbye yet or like see her go back there by herself and behind the door. So um, I'm a little nervous to say the least. I know she'll be fine. I know she's in good hands. I know Rihanna's back there with her, but I guess I just wasn't ready for that. So anyway, now I'm out in the waiting
operating room and uh, just waiting for Rihanna to come back so they can uh, start her surgery. So I just noticed they have this like little board that gives you a status on her. And this is her right here, 2754. So she's still in holding. She's now in the OR, so 2754. And I'm just out here pacing around. Tiana just went back to the operating room and the, her CRNA is my coworker and friend who also trained me when I was in anesthesia school, Kelly. And um, she went back fine actually. John wasn't back there, but I gave her a kiss and she said bye and it was fine. She was kind of um, loopy off her verset. I guess now we just wait? Yes, now we wait. We'll watch the board and see when she's in recovery and then they'll come out and let one of us go back, so. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and you then, see her first? Yeah. We'll have, to, we'll have to rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, I guess we just wait anxiously then. Yeah. The surgeon just called and said the surgery part is over and Tiana did great. And um, they're gonna call us when she's in recovery so then we can go see her, but only one of us can, so we're still battling it out over here. Rock, paper, scissors, you ready? Rock, paper, yeah, scissors. Let's go. <gasps> Boom! Oh, man. Okay, I think you should go, though. Just in case you have any questions or they start talking any medical terms. Okay. I trust you. All right, so now she's in recovery. She's the blue one. Only a little longer. Baby girl is all done and back with us now. Daddy wanted to hold her. And since he won rock, paper, scissors, he got to go first. Um, she fell back asleep, but she's doing really good. Not in too much discomfort. Um, she's been eating her slushy they gave her, and the nurses said we'll be here for about one hour being monitored, and then she'll get to go home as long as she's feeling okay. You feel better now? She's so comfortable. She's just sleeping and resting. And as you can tell, some other kids are not so comfortable, but she can sleep through anything, so we're good in here. They're gonna leave her little IV in just to make sure she doesn't need fluids or feel sick and need more medicine. And they'll take it out right before we leave. They also gave me a blanket because they said I looked cold, but I think I forgot to tell you guys earlier that my mom, Tiana's Gigi, is here. She's been here for a couple days and she's staying with us for the next few days so she can be here during Tiana's recovery. Um, because she's one of Tiana's most favorite people in the world. So we're just gonna be hanging out, waiting to go home. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes. Rihanna and Tiana are back here, passed out behind me. Um, and I think we're just waiting, I think another 15 minutes or so, and they should come check her out. And if she's all good, uh, we can head home. Here's some more apple juice. Oh, you're doing so good, baby. She is doing great. She just slept for an hour during the monitoring period. And now we're ready to go home. They took her IV out. So she has a little bitty boo-boo here. This one going down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you going down? Come there you go, baby. Right here. I'm going for a little ride. I wanted to give you guys an update. So it is the next day. Um, we got home at about 3 p.m. yesterday from the hospital, and Tiana kind of just rested. She did really well yesterday. She ate some popsicles, drank juice, even ate some noodles, um, went to sleep, but then she had a pretty rough night, and it's been a pretty rough day today. Um, so we haven't been vlogging on camera much. Her throat has been hurting a lot more today, and she hasn't been able to eat what she wants to eat, so she's getting a little frustrated. Um, right now, she is having a popsicle, which is good. Um, she tried to drink a milkshake, but that was too much for her. She didn't like drinking that, so she's having Tylenol around the clock for pain relief, but obviously nothing's going to take the pain all the way away until it heals, so... We'll just keep trying to feed her liquids and popsicles and things like that until she feels a little better, hopefully tomorrow. Um, John had to go to work for a little while today, but he should be home after not too long. This has been our situation all day. Kittens, Tiana on my lap. That's where she feels most comfortable. And then just watching movies, going back and forth between the TV and the iPad because she's not feeling good enough to do any activity so we're just hanging out here um she did have a little bath earlier and i think that helped her feel a little bit better but now she's just cozy and we'll just be resting 
day two post-op update. So we went for a little walk to get Tiana some fresh air and then we passed our favorite ice cream shop, Ellen's, and I think it feels good on our throat, so that's yeah. good. Does it feel better, baby? Aww. No. Aww. Hey everyone, so it is post-op day five now, and last time I updated you was day two, so I wanted to tell you how days three and four went. So day three and four are pretty similar to day two. Um, she had a really sore throat, was only really able to drink and eat popsicles and really soft ice cream. Um, she was kind of cranky and miserable and in pain, so that's why I didn't vlog because she obviously probably didn't want a camera in her face, so we were just hanging out with her. She did a lot of napping and sleeping on us and cuddling, and we kind of just hung out on the couch. There was a snowstorm, so it was actually perfect timing. And now it's day five, and she is finally on the mend. She is feeling so much better. Um, she's been eating a lot of avocado because it's soft, so that's been nice. And she wants to play again. No! No! She waits for the fun. They were hiding from me. No. But she finally is feeling better. We're so so no, mommy. Are you feeling a little better, baby? Yeah? You want to say hi to everybody? Anyway. Yeah, you got oh. avocado on your facey. <laughs> Anyway, um, her voice sounds different, like very nasally, because her throat's still swollen, so she can't really talk normal. So we'll see when she gets better, like what she sounds like, if it's any different than it was before. Um, they said her voice might change a little bit. But otherwise, things are looking like they're on the up and up, so we're very grateful for that. She still has one week that she'll be home from school. She's not allowed to go back until the 14 day mark, so she'll be home next week. I took this week off, but I go back to work next week. Are you going to work with daddy next week? Hey, are you going to go to work with daddy? Are you going to hide? Hide. <laughs> she loves going to work with John. How do you think her recovery's been? Uh, it's been up and down, I would yeah. say. It's definitely getting better. She's getting better. Yes, thankfully. That's it me. was so sad the first few days. Like, she was miserable. That's why we didn't really film her. Yeah, so she's a little more cranky than usual, but... It's to be expected with the way her uh, throat feels. I think like after naps, after she first wakes up because it's dry, mm -hmm. uh, it bothers her a little bit more. But We're still giving her pretty much round-the-clock Tylenol, and we have a humidifier in here. There it is. Um, because the doctor said that might help her throat, and we've just been doing the best we can. Don't show our room. We only have a bed and a humidifier. <laughs> <laughs> Minim minimalist. We have a map, too. I think we'll probably update you again on day seven, which will be when she's at work with John. Hey, baby. We're at the bank. Do you want to get a sucker? What color do you want? Pink. Pink? All right, I'll ask them if they have a pink sucker just for you. I uh, appreciate it. Hey, are you eating two suckers at the same time? You're silly. So we just got to the office. We had to stop by the bank first. As you can see, Tiana is with me today because she's not feeling great still from her tonsillectomy. She actually can't go back to school for two weeks. So she has one week left and she came with me to the office. But real quick, I gotta tell you guys, if you didn't already know how awesome my wife is. So she completely set me up for success today. And when I say set me up, I can't show you everything, but she got up extra early this morning. She packed multiple bags. She packed my work bag. She made me a coffee. She made Tiana lunch and drink and charged her iPad and put it all in the car for me because yes, I'm basically helpless. Babe, I appreciate you as always. And now we are going to actually go into the office and get some work done. Mondays are busy for me. I have a lot of meetings with staff. Uh, we have a budget meeting and then uh, Tiana's probably just going to run around and color on the boards and erase important information. That's what she likes to do. Hey, baby, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Oh, and yes, Tiana will be on her iPad today. Judge me if you want to, but I got to get through the day somehow, and I don't want her to be sitting there completely bored while I do budget meetings. All right, open the door. Did you already find the house? <laughs> already? This is her favorite thing to do. It's color all over the boards. 
So if you guys heard a bit of an echo in those last scenes, this is why. Apparently I was carrying this thing and it repeats everything I say. Who is it? Mommy. It's mommy? What is she doing? <laughs> Yesterday, you know, there we had a leak over at Dempsey. Well, it's the same leak that we got. That we Look who I caught sleeping on the job. How freaking cute is she? All right, that's it for the day. You were a really good baby today. Thank you for all your help. Oh yeah. All right, so we have a house to close today, so we had to stop back by another bank, and uh, Tiana's having a blast because she got more suckers, and now she's got all of their pamphlets. Where are you going, silly? <laughs> all right, so we got our check now, and guess what, guess what? One more stop and then what? We're gonna go see mommy. <laughs> we just have to close this house and then we'll go see mommy. You ready? You gotta go like that and then dump it over. She's gotten suckers at all the banks and now the lawyer's office is giving her more candy. You made out today. Yeah. All right, sign the documents. You're closing the house. Good job. Here's your keys. <laughs> Good job, baby. We did it. We made it home. We made it through the day. Is mommy home? Is mommy home? Yay! <laughs> did you miss mommy? She's coldy. It's so cold. <laughs> Look what I got you. Hospital popsicles. Yay! She missed you all day. Oh, I missed you guys. Hey guys, so I think it is day nine, tonsillectomy update. We are at the art museum, our local art museum, because Tiana is getting restless in the house. And as you can see, she is feeling great now. So I think this will be our last update because she's pretty much better now back to herself. Um, the only thing, the only restriction is that she still can't have crunchy foods. So just a few more days until she can eat normal. She has healed wonderfully. Uh, the roughest part is just at night when her throat gets dry, she says it's sore. So we're still giving her Tylenol at night, but otherwise she's doing amazing. And she'll go back to school on Monday. It is currently Wednesday right now. So I just wanted to give you that update and say, thank you so much for following along with her tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy journey. I hope it helped if your kids are having this done um, so you know what to expect a little bit. I heard it's much easier for kids than for adults. So thankfully she's gotten it over with and then we'll have to update you on her sleeping and snoring here in a couple weeks once all her swelling goes down. We should know what the final result is. Um, oh, she also still isn't talking totally normal yet. She's very nasally, still getting used to having her throat empty because she's been used to having it full for so long. But I think that'll just come with time and we are very happy uh, with how she's doing. So, thanks for following along. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, please subscribe to our channel because we love sharing our vlogs with you guys. And as always, we will see you next week.